you guys actually can't turn on your lights? Turn on. Turn on, cell phone, cell phone. <laughs> Something just happened. Something just happened. There's so much going on in this place. Oh, f off. I'm Mo Sarji. Hey, that's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, hide right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions, those ghosts or spirits would tell her, build this, build this, to fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. <laughs> Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, Tom, my boy! Live a little. What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another adventure. Today I am in a place called Sudbury, Ontario. It's literally in the middle of nowhere in Canada. I'm about to go and explore this giant abandoned hotel. Everything left behind. Apparently a girl was abused and killed in here and apparently just left to die in this hotel. That's the story behind this place. We're going to go inside and explore it, investigate it, and see if there's anything paranormal inside. Smash the like button. I'm here with my buddy Rennie and Angelo. Love you guys. I really do love you guys. Thank you for all the love and positive support. Comment something positive down below and be hearting all your comments let's go what is up boys welcome back we are killing it look at this oh my god this is so cool so we are in an abandoned hospital apparently a girl was what was she she was like wait wait not a hospital hotel sorry a hotel, hotel. i don't know why i said a hospital hotel and club so a girl was killed in here yeah apparently. and there's a nightclub in here which is super cool and the thing is with this hotel it's not as bad oh my god it's actually creepy in here it's like total darkness so I'm risking my life to give you guys these adventures. All I ask from you guys is to go down the link below if you want to find out the app that I use for ghost hunting. It's called a Necrophonic. The link for that is down below. You can download it also. Follow me on my personal app, the Most Sarge app. I actually am posting exclusive videos on the exclusive side of the app from this trip as well. Videos that I'm filming and I'm not posting it on YouTube. You can watch it there on the Most Sarge app. Download it on Google and on Android or on Apple. Anyways, guys, for all those of you that have been ordering merch, I want you guys to be patient because right now during the COVID-19, the whole merch situation, it's a bit late on the shipping. It's understandable, but you guys will eventually get your merch. I know, I've been getting a lot of people messaging me, Mo, where's my merch? It's going to come, guys. Don't message me. I'm not going to reply because I don't have control over shipping. Some of you guys are failing to understand that I don't have control over who ships the merch or when they ship it. They just tell us the time and then it's all up to, up to the, the shipping people. But look at this. Okay, so I don't want to show you guys this room just yet. That's the nightclub. I'm going to save it for the end. But this is the main area. Stand behind. This is the main area of the hotel. I don't know why this hotel is abandoned, but I do know that apparently, from what I'm told by locals, is that a female was killed in here and sexually assaulted. Oh, man. This is so cool and creepy. Whoa. So I'm guessing this is the main entrance when you come into the hotel. This is probably one of those rooms for, like... The managers. Oh, it smells like poop in here. It smells terrible. Holy moly, somebody took the time to sit here and put nails in the walls. That's scary. There's like nails everywhere. <laughs> Inside of an abandoned hotel, someone had all the time in the world. Look at how gorgeous this place is. So from what I'm told is there is a basement and there's a pool in here. There's a pool down this way. Oh, I can't wait to see the pool. The nightclub is just through there, but I'm saving that for the end. We don't know if it's a nightclub. There's definitely like a restaurant area. It, it looks like a nightclub. Yeah. Probably. There's a pool in here, too. Does anybody know where she was murdered, though? I have no idea. Maybe room 666? I don't know. <laughs> just a thought. <laughs> There's no sixth floor. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, I don't know. Maybe room 333? Three, three, three. Two or three? Three. Three floors, yeah. Or two. We'll see. So we're gonna go down to the basement. Oh, is that a mirror? Um, yeah, is it is a mirror. No, that's a mirror. Holy shit, that doesn't look like a mirror. It's so clean. Yeah. It literally looks like it's a part of the wall. Like, it doesn't even look like a mirror. But apparently this is where the swimming pool is down here in the basement. Keep your eyes out wide open, you guys. There could be, oh my God, there's a really cool chandelier. This is so amazing. Look at that chandelier. Whoa, look at the crowd molding on that. And then you have all this beautiful art up there, naked little babies, it's weird. What is this, Epstein's Hotel? So I'm getting a really big whiff of mold down here in the basement. That's usually because there's probably a swimming pool it still has water inside of it. And let's see if we can find the pool, the game room. There should be some things left behind. This is the women's change room. Out of all places, I walk into here. Let's see what's inside of here. Oh, 
this is the bathroom. I can't believe how like kind of not destroyed this place is. A lot of the destruction is kind of natural decay, minus all the broken glass that kids have probably broken in. So this is the pool and fitness area right here through this door. I wonder, I wonder if the pool has water inside of it. All right, guys. All signs leading to the swimming pool. What the heck was going on in this place? Look at this room. What a weird room. Holy moly. I am by myself. The guys have gone off on their own. Okay, that's just creepy. Yeah, I don't think I want to walk down this hallway by myself. It's actually scary. I'm going to wait for the guys. All right, start to clip from here. Yo, so I just tried to go to the pool and I almost pooped my pants. Why? It's scary there. Is that I didn't even see the pool yet because it's a long hallway that goes deeper and deeper oh, where underground. Is it? Huh? Where is it? It's down that way. Oh, this was the nightclub, by the way. This was the nightclub? Yeah, so just watch where you yeah. step because there's glass there's like metal bulbs stuff everywhere. on the floor. Bulbs? bulbs oh, look yeah. at that. Look at all the chandeliers. Yeah. They have chandeliers everywhere with like little crystal balls. That is so cool. This is something you would never see in abandoned, like yeah. a place that looks like this. I'm so happy we got permission for this place. There was like a guy outside, security guard, and he's like, yo, I know you, you guys want to come in? Door was wide open, he let us in. Really cool. Yeah, he was. His name was Fred. Whoa. Hey, there's like another staircase over here. And it goes, where does it go? Literally nowhere. Look at that, guys. It's a staircase that goes nowhere. They sealed off the floor there. I wonder why they did that. Randy's already having some light issues. What's going on here? Malfunction. Brand new batteries and everything. Yeah, I saw you in Brand the car. New light. You, put, you put new batteries in the car. Well, that's interesting. Hey, you really got to be careful where you're walking. These things like could hurt your ankle. Let's go check out the pool. I really want to go and see it, but I, just, I was little. I was there by myself. It just looked scary, and just everything kind of the vibes in there were just super, super. I don't know. I felt paranormal in there to me. All right, boys, here we go. So I did come through here already. There's this really strange room in here. I don't know what it was for. Like, what could this room possibly be for? You know what I mean? Like, this is you're on your way to the swimming pool. It's like I kind of get this like vibe of like. X ring, yeah. You know what I mean. It's in this place, this, this curtain is here. Too. Yeah, like I get, I get a vibe like they might have had like a sex ring going on in this place. It's not uncommon. Like it's happened in hotels have been caught. We're not gonna say what name of this place is, but they have had situations where owners of hotels were actually part of like mafias and stuff, and they've had sex rings and child sex rings, which is a real bad thing, obviously. So you never know. You never know. This place could have just became shut down because of that. They could have Epstein. They it is pretty clean down here. Yeah. There's like all these bathrooms and other rooms. Whoa, these are all change rooms. There's like some random conference room over here right before the pool. What? Isn't this crazy? Please, oh, this was the gym. It says, please wipe down machines after use. This was the gym. Wow, there's no equipment in here. <laughs> Why take them? Leave them in here for me. Oh, here we go, guys. The swimming pool. Whoa. So here we go, this is the swimming pool. That is a big pool. Five feet deep at its deepest. You know what they say about five feet deep? What do they say about five feet deep? It's shallow. <laughs> this is actually a good pool for Randy because he can't swim. This is my turn. Hey Randy, can you swim or not? No, sir. <laughs> is there water in it? There's water in here. It doesn't look like it, let me give it a test. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely water in it. <laughs> no, thank you. All right guys, will it float? There you go. We should have brought a, one of those rubber duckies and just sat in the water. It sank, wow. All right guys, real talk though, this place is super cool. I wonder what else we're gonna find in here. I actually wasn't expecting a swimming pool at all. And uh, have you guys noticed my energy compared from this video to the last video we filmed? It's called sleep. Yeah. So we filmed a video this morning, <laughs> like literally at like 11 o'clock in the morning at this other hotel. The second I got there, I had no interest in it. I actually didn't want to film it because we had no sleep. We slept like 10 minutes out of the entire night when we camped out in some random forest. We actually made the mistake of putting our tent on like all rocky ground and we were desperate. We were just dead tired. It was like three o'clock in the morning. We wanted to sleep really badly. You guys will see it in the vlog because I am making vlogs about this trip as well on the vlog channel, the Sarji family channel. The link for that is down below. Go subscribe. But literally we were supposed to come and film this in the morning as well. And I was like, nah, we're going to go get ourselves a, a really cheap cockroachy hotel room, which we did. And then we're going to take a break. We're going to rest. We're going to sleep all day. And then we're going to film at nighttime. And that's exactly what we're doing. That being said, I want you guys to observe my surroundings. Make sure to let me know if you see anything out of the ordinary, like Rennie. 
<laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna leave the swimming pool area, go upstairs, see what's inside some of these hotel rooms. Hopefully there's something left behind, something that can give us evidence into a girl dying, and then we are gonna be using the spirit box and trying to communicate with her. Does anybody know her name? Whoa, what the f*** was that? Oh, I think I just saw my reflection in the mirror and I got scared. <laughs> I thought somebody was standing there. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I'm ugly, I know. Hey, what's through here? Look, there's like a tunnel here. I wonder where this tunnel of dreams goes to. Oh, what the hell? Well, this is creepy. I wonder if there's like, I thought I seen something through here. Oh, it's just, yeah. Whoa, it's so cool. This place is like a maze. It's kind of cool. Just open this random door. Oh look, there's another door in here. Where the hell does this place go? It's sealed shut. What is the purpose of this area? I think this was like an old building at one point before they updated it eventually and created the oh, big hotel. Yeah, but they might have built a newer building on top of an older building it's in this possible. place. Yeah. Yeah. You guys ready to go upstairs? <laughs> Let's go upstairs. All right guys, making our way upstairs now, back on this really cool looking staircase. It's like all spirally. It's actually in great condition. Like the carpet is clean. How long has this place been abandoned for? I think a couple years. Couple years, huh? I can go for some snacks right now. You know what? I'm gonna take you guys into that room that I said I was gonna wait till the end. So let's go inside right now. All right, here we go. No, this is definitely a nightclub. This was definitely a bar and a nightclub. Yeah, yeah cause look, there's a stage right here. Yeah, but we don't need those. I mean, that's like a master open, key. But it's still kind of cool that they're here. Yeah, that's like a master key, I think, or no? Or is that how no, they used to do it? Individual, individual rooms. rooms yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because they're numbered, right? This is the key to my heart, Rennie. Yeah, Hold everyone. on to it. Rennie, you don't want the key to my heart? Asshole. <gasps> Take the key I'll to my heart. <laughs> okay, you can have it. All right, let's go inside and check out this really cool nightclub over here. So this was a bar at one point, slash nightclub. I'm guessing... Whoa, what the hell went on in this room? Some jiggy jiggy? I think there was some jiggy jiggy going on in here. Whoa. I was just talking about the chair my light died again. This literally, yeah, I saw your light die. That's weird. I think you're just, your light is malfunctioning. But hey, listen, this place reminds me of a nightclub I used to work in back in the day when I was a nightclub bouncer. Are you good? Yeah. Jesus, this dude. Just find you the light. Careful. This place is creepy, man. The fact that there's a nightclub in the hotel. It's rare to find hotels in Canada now with nightclubs. All right, guys, look at this. There's some more. Hey, that's some cool art. Hot dog. Oh, look at this. That is so cool. Shout out to whoever did this, man. That's some cool art right here. Angelo, what are you doing? Okay, Angelo is um, a DJ now. <laughs> So you're mean you're just gonna play a laptop and think you're talented? <laughs> oh my god. Okay guys, jokes aside, we should go upstairs and see if we can catch anything paranormal up in the rooms. Cause that's usually where the paranormal stuff happens, up in the rooms. Oh Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. I thought that was people sitting there. Just a painting, nothing crazy. Grease, yeah. They did have food here, so yeah. probably because we're in the kitchen slash bar area. Look at this, guys. This is the bar. If you ever want to see what's behind a bar, a lot of dirt, basically. Oh, look at these sombreros. There we go. This, th no, hell no. That thing's probably filthy. Three, some they are filthy. Three sombreros. There's three guys here. Hey, look at the security camera. So this was very misleading. <laughs> I just walked over here, and this is a swimming pool. Yeah, I'm glad you did it first. I actually didn't get my feet wet, surprisingly. <laughs> They're not wet. I'm happy. And it was pretty deep. Why is there so much water? That's probably why this place smells like mold. Probably. There is black mold everywhere. Jesus. Alright, let's go upstairs and do some paranormal investigating because exploring is fun, but adding that little zesty taste to a video is great. And you guys are we're gonna try to see if we can find something cool, something paranormal. All right, here we go. We are gonna be going upstairs now. There's another spirally staircase. Let me go first, just in case there's someone with an ax trying to kill us. I will save us. <laughs> and you guys can run. So it seems I found another really cool looking room in this place, and this is the restaurant. Really, really cool looking restaurant up here. It's kind of still in kind of great condition. They have all these awesome drawings on the wall. This is probably the back kitchen over here. Oh, what the hell? Yo, yo. Come see this. I walked into here and look at that hand sanitizer. Turn off the light. 
Oh, Why? Yeah. Why does the hand sanitizer machine start flashing out of nowhere? You getting yeah. anything on that? I wonder if there's a hand sanitizer in it. The fact that this still works? It's, it's full of hand sanitizer yeah. still. Oh, this is a, an exit. I wonder if um, this is being honest, that paper. Whoa, look at this. This is so creepy. Uh, 215. It says there's beautiful vintage pieces. <laughs> is this that? Oh, this is like an upgrade this week. Cause look at the floor. It's all marble flooring. Whoa. I can't believe this is all abandoned. So this looks like it was like some sort of executive suite. Because there's no way every room in this hotel is this fancy looking. For back in the day, this was really fancy. They don't make fancy schmancy like this no more. In hotels now, it's all like cockroach central. Trust me, we're sleeping in one. This, it's, it would actually be cleaner for us to sleep in this hotel. Hey guys, you know, you know what would actually be cleaner for us to sleep in this hotel rather than the one that we rented today? Yeah, you're <laughs> actually right. Yeah. All right, so this is another bathroom. Pretty clean bathroom. Like I said, it's still cleaner than the place that we're sleeping in, which is called the Red Carpet Inn. Or, what? Uh, there's, got a, there's another name to it. There's not much going on in any of these rooms. So from what I heard, um, that vintage room was where the girl was killed. Really? Yeah, because she was taken in there by some bobber or whatever hotshot that had money. And that's the most expensive room in this place, so maybe we should try doing some necrophonic in that place. Yeah, Alright, let's go do that. I've been getting some really strange vibes in these hallways. Just been hanging out by myself a little bit. The guys are already in that executive suite. But I don't know, I just get these feelings. You guys know me. I'm very sensitive to anything paranormal. I feel like just something's about to show itself. So I'm gonna sit here and take a couple of dark photos with night vision. So hopefully um, we can get something. So the legends are that the girl died here inside of the bathtub area. Oh my God, glass everywhere. Um, that's what we're gonna spend some time in here using the necrophonic. Like I said before, the link is down below if you guys want to download the necrophonic. Feel free to do so. Touch it, touch it, touch it. There's nothing happening. Okay, all right, I'm gonna hand you over the camera, Monsieur. So we don't know, we don't know her name, right? No. Nobody knows her name because there's a story about this. This story could be real, it could not be real. Well, so we're just going off about what the local people that live in this area, we're not from this area, like we live literally like nine hours away. The local people give us the stories, they give us the legends, the tales, you guys know how it is. And then we just go and explore it, investigate it. Sometimes we go to places and we bust them, there's nothing there. And sometimes it actually is haunted. So that's what we're here to do, to investigate, to see if it's haunted. That's why I always tell you guys to look around behind us to make sure that there's nothing creeping up on us or some type of orbs. Always comment them down in the comment section below. Has anyone died in this room? Yes. Yes. Yes, me? What the hell? Nah. Who's me? Who's you? Who are you? Who's you? I said. We're here to investigate. We're here to see if. I heard it drowned. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm sorry because every time I talk, I hear this. Play it on. Did you drown in the bathtub? How old were you? Eight. What was your name? If I sit in your bathtub, will you talk yeah. to me? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You heard that too? Yeah. I thought I heard somebody talking. Yeah. Outside the room, though. Yeah, what was that? But you heard it as well, I though. Heard it as well. Yeah. Literally, I looked at you and then I'm like... Not from the necrophonic. Yeah. I heard it. Like, no, like in... I thought it was one of you guys. Shh. So here's the thing with spirits sometimes. If there is a spirit here, whether it's evil or good, most of the time it's evil. Um, if they want to deflect your attention from the truth, 
things like this start to happen. If you notice yeah. that every time we're trying to investigate, we'll hear a noise, something will happen, yeah. something will drop or move. And it's usually a spirit trying to distract us from... But hang on, it's the girl that was murdered. So yeah. obviously she's not going to be the evil spirit. So what are you saying? Maybe she's evil. Maybe she's negative because she got killed and she wants to hurt people. She's pissed off. Right? It happens. It's a known thing in the paranormal world. But you can be the most friendliest person ever if someone kills your ass. And then you're stuck in limbo. And then you're like, oh, it's foolish. I'm going to haunt everybody. If I got killed, I want to haunt people. What the hell? Okay, let's go back. If I sit in your bathtub where you died, apparently, allegedly, can you talk to me? Looks like there's blood in here. How did you die in here? Did you actually die in here? Did you die in here, yes or no? Yeah. Here. here. It's over here. Yeah. What's over here? Does your life end in this bathtub? How did you die? Were you stabbed? Were you drowned? Were you killed by some type of demonic entity? Anyone have a K2 meter? <laughs> you can use this device that I'm talking to you on to communicate. It's on, just the battery's a little low. Can you make my K2 meter go to red or yellow or orange? I want to help you. Do you know my name? Do you have a name? How, how many people are sitting here right now? I just heard like a footstep. Again? Yeah. You stay here? Because if somebody walked. Oh, the K2 just went to red. Yeah. Just briefly. Oh, there it is again. Hey, look, look, look. It's going to red now. Are you making the K2 go to red? Do it again? Guys, turn off your lights. One Turn off your light. Can you make the K2 go to red again? Come on, you did it before, do it again. No. If you're truly here and you exist, make it go to red one more time. <gasps> yeah. What the f***? That was on command. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Keep the lights off, guys. Yeah. Alright, so we got the lights off now. Can you talk to us? You see this K2, huh? It's going yeah, I see it. There it is. Are you sitting in the bathtub with me? Are you, are you sitting in the tub with me? Are we sharing the tub? So we're gonna go and investigate that noise that we heard out in the hallway. Hey, who closed the door? You guys closed the door? We're all in the same room. Yeah, that was the I didn't even hear a door close. Me neither. Maybe that was the noise we heard? No, we heard footsteps no, I, and talking. I heard a footstep and yeah, there was definitely talking. Yeah. There's anything out in this hallway, can you make that door close? The one that's in front of me. Make that door close if there are any spirits in here. So we're actually sitting in the hallways right now in the complete darkness and the complete silence. And I'm going to try to take a photo in the dark. There we go. Okay, that's one photo. I'm going to take three. I usually take three photos in the same exact spot. Here we go. Let's review these photos and see if we captured anything. Oh, nothing here. Lights on. Lights on, lights on. What happened? Something was just walking over there. Really? Yeah. Did you capture on camera? Yeah, yeah, something moved over there. Like just in the hallway? Or it, it was like a, a faint couple of steps, very faint. I don't know if the camera picked up on the audio, but I heard it. I want to spend some time here in this hallway. Mm. So we're going to sit here in the dark. 
Yeah, we're going to sit here in the dark. So be ready to turn on your lights if anything, okay? Yeah. So we've been sitting out here in the hallway for a little bit of time just trying to listen. We've heard some little bit of noises, but nothing that we can explain what it is. What we're going to do is we're going to sit in the complete darkness. This is something we rarely ever do because I know you guys want to see everything, but sometimes hearing is more important than seeing. Well, here's the thing, too. Everything we've heard up to this point has only been when we've been in darkness. Yeah, yeah true. That's, true. So that's why we're going to turn off the lights. Yeah. And yeah, here we go. We All right, demon spirits. Do you have the K2? Yeah, it's right here. You also just scared. I thought I just heard a noise. Yeah, I thought I heard that too. From the like, the Who's walking? 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 Guys, my light just turned off. Turn your lights on quick. Turn your lights on. I'm trying. What do you mean you can't? I can't turn, turn on my on. light. It's, it's not been working the entire time. Turn your lights on. It won't. My light won't turn on. The battery just died. Turn your light on. I can't turn I my can. light on. Are you serious? Something just f***ing walked towards us. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Something just walked towards us. I, I don't have a light. I don't have a light. You guys actually can't turn on your lights? No, it won't turn on. Cell phone, cell phone? Okay, all I have is a cell phone light. You, you actually can't turn on your light. Try to turn it on now. I'm trying. Try to turn it on now. I'm trying. Rennie? It's not working. Yours is not working. Angela, you try your light? It's not working. Whatever is doing this to our lights, can you stop that? We need our lights to see. You're freaking us out. Make it go back on. My light's working now. Is it? Yeah. Oh my god, I just got a orb on camera. Coming from that destination that we heard the no <gasps> There's another one. Oh, it just flew towards my camera. Something just came towards my camera. I got that on camera. Are your lights? Hey, your lights are working. Now it's working. I pulled the battery out and it was fine. What did you do different? I just fiddled with it. What? It and you know, it's funny. There was an orb coming towards us and then yeah. the lights start working. Out of nowhere. Did you film that orb? I might have. I was trying to fix the battery for the light. So, for those that don't know this about the paranormal stuff, orbs could be uh, spirits or ghosts, or could be demons, could be something flying towards us. A lot of times, whenever something... A lot of time when things happen, usually orbs are captured on camera, and we captured an orb on camera. So that was interesting. What about the footsteps, though? Yeah, those were, those were like subtle, subtle footsteps. Angelo? You heard... Like a, a shadow? Just walk through the, a shadow? Through which room? The, window. the vintage room? Yeah. I could like faintly see it from the light coming in. I don't think I filmed it though. Hey, let me try to take some night photos in there. Yeah. Try let me try that. So, we're gonna turn off the lights. Okay, I got the lights completely off. You guys can just see my cell phone. It's very strange that our lights stopped functioning in that hallway. Did you cause our lights to stop working? If so, show yourself. I'm taking night photos. Stand in front of my photo or my camera. I'm gonna take six photos this time instead of visual three. I'd really. What? What? Do you have footsteps? Shh. Turn your lights on. It's not working, man. Turn, try yours. Try yours. Oh my God. Oh, oh. What's going my on with the light? light? My lights are not light. working, too, bro. Guys, guys, come, come, come this way, come this way. My lights are not working either. Hold on, get the cell phones out, get the cell phones out. Okay, yeah, mine's working. Something yeah, just happened. Working. Something just happened. Yeah. Hold on, um, Renny, hold. Wait, so the lights are working? Yeah, yeah, it's working. What's going on with these f***ing lights? There were Since just the beginning of this video, mine's been turned off. Yeah, and so I would stop working. That maybe if mine's not working, it makes sense. But the fact that your guys isn't working now, that's yeah. kind of freaky. Take, take my camera. Let me review the photos I just took in that room. Because I was standing out in the hallway and the door closes. Please let there be something in there. I literally just realized there was a third floor. Is there? There's a third floor? <laughs> yeah. It's not You're just... kidding. I'm not even joking. There's another floor. We literally walked past it. Wasn't that where the, the bar was? Like the roof bar area? Uh, I thought we were just up there. I don't know. I got I nothing on these the photos. Nothing? Um, let's go to the third floor. Since uh, there we, we were up there, weren't no, we? we weren't. No, I don't think we no, were. No, we weren't. Maybe there's something up on the third floor. Saw that boardroom. 
So, Randy, that door slammed. Yeah, I know. Hey, you were asking about the restaurant. It's right behind you. Oh. So there is another floor. Don't leave me alone in here. So there is a third floor. We had no idea. There's restroom, summer boardroom, and suite 306. Whoa, what's up with the staircase? It smells funky up here. Another chandelier. Whoa, so this was like more executive class? Or is it just a big boardroom up here? Holy cool, look at the the wall panels up here. I wonder if we can find anything in this area. Where's Rennie? Oh, you're right here. There's so much going on in this place. Oh, f off. R Angela, come here. Camera, bring the K2 meter. Look at it, it's going faster, it's moving faster. Holy shit, it's actually moving faster. Look at that, it's starting to go faster now. Are you getting anything on that? No, the battery's like almost drained on me. Let, uh, let me see the key. I'm like <laughs> shivering kind of right now. This is awesome, but scary at the same time. Are you making the chandelier move like that? Uh. Rennie. Get back here, get back here. Are you making the chandelier move? I'm kind of scared to get in here. Did you make that chandelier move? Did you just do that? Tell me, don't be shy, just tell us. That's a scary ass sound. You see how fast it started moving when I got it on camera? Yeah. It like moved faster and faster, more violently. Who's on the roof? Maybe it's something out there. We're trying to get out of here. The guys are all freaked out. There's something scary walking upstairs. So we're gonna leave. I don't know, this place is like a maze. We don't want to jeopardize the safety of anybody in the group. So when one person doesn't feel comfortable anymore, we have to get the hell out of here. Okay guys, we just made it back to the vehicle. These boys got scared, but you know what? Sometimes I get scared and they end up leaving with me too. It's just a team thing. Like if one person isn't feeling safe, we end up leaving. We tried searching around the property in the darkness to see if there was like maybe some homeless guy trying to get in or something like that. Cause there are a lot of, there are a lot of homeless people around this area. And sometimes they can try to get into these places to sleep in there. Um, and honestly, honestly, Yo, big respect to homeless people because where we slept yesterday, like we were like trying to find a place to sleep. It took us forever yep. and we had a car. Imagine not being able to have a car and trying to find somewhere to sleep. Like it was rough. It was really rough. So big respect to all my, I know I have a lot of fans that are homeless and I, you know, I sympathize with you. I love you guys. I hope you can make your life a million times better in the near future. Right now, it all starts now. You know what I mean? Don't wait, just do it. But we couldn't find anyone trying to get into the building and I fear for the safety of the crew. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just end up leaving and uh, we'll come back another day though. Let me know if you guys want me to come back here with CJ or Omar or someone else and maybe tag the boys down in the comments below and uh, maybe I can get them up to come here. Um, although this place is in the middle of nowhere, it's a long drive. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did manage to capture anything, orbs, whatever it is, make sure you mark it, screenshot it, send it to me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at MosRG. Follow me on Twitter at MosRG. Follow me on the MosRG app at MosRG. I am posting exclusive videos. So. Love you guys. Bye, guys. Say bye. Say bye. 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 Love you. <laughs> Let us know if you guys want more adventures and what type of videos you guys want to see. Peace.